welcome to my vlogmas day five and welcome to my new life here so as you have seen probably that i moved apartment yesterday and uh, i'm sorry i didn't uh, end the vlog because i literally just fall asleep i just felt such, such a sudden like drop of energy after uh, after i unpacked here so i fell asleep and then when i woke up there was a huge storm uh, i was actually surprised that it can be that stormy here and uh, yeah that was all i was just you know watching some videos a little and then i went to bed again actually you know this old saying that after storm there is always sun coming out and look at this like look at this weather forecast was that it was supposed to be pouring rain for the whole week and yesterday was raining like we had the storm and i woke up today and i was like oh, oh, oh wait 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 is it, what, what is this what is this it, it looks like sunshine so for now I was editing the vlog from last two days uh, because yesterday I literally didn't do anything. Uh, I had some things to take care of before I actually was moving, before I, you know, called booking and then after that move so I was just gone. Uh, so I uh, did that, the vlog is uploading now and now I think I'm just going to sit here until further notice and synthesize vitamin D. So that's the plan until the sun goes down and then maybe I go somewhere. But seriously, today uh, Spain has a public holiday. It's the Constitution Day for Spain, so most things are closed. I was actually planning to go shopping uh, because I saw in this designer outlet that I went, um, you know, a few days ago. I saw some sunglasses sale and I saw nice uh, Gucci sunglasses and there were also Miu Miu sunglasses that I was tempted and i think i should have bought them and now they are playing on my mind and i hope they didn't sell them so i wanted to go today or actually i even thought about going yesterday but yesterday it went uh, its own way oh sorry for the shadow of the of the phone uh, so i was thinking i will go today but today apparently every, almost everything is closed uh, so i think i will go for a walk uh, down the beach and i will finally take you to this uh, bill bill uh, castle and i'm going to refresh my memory and read up what this castle is as far as i remember it was supposed to be something like built for a different purpose than actually it serves now Anyway, see you later because now I'm busy synthesizing vitamin D and enjoying the sun. Show the view because, well, I should show you the view properly. So that's the view that I have now. So here we have the, the view to the sea, uh, maybe closer. And I can't wait to see actually sunset here. It must be amazing. So a quick outfit in the lift because I realized I don't have full size mirror. Hopefully nobody behind me. So that's my look uh, for this walk. I was caught taking videos in the lift, so let me show you my outfit here outside. Uh, so I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton sunglasses, first time on this trip. So even though it's not very actually uh, sunny anymore, but I'm going to wear them because I want to wear them. And I'm wearing a green shirt from Zara and also being a very trendy orange uh, skirt from Zara as well. And to put even more colors, I'm wearing yellow Prada bag. And my sneakers, Tommy Heiflieger sneakers, they are like, you know, metallic. And I think they go very well with anything that is like, you know, any colors or like making outfit a little bit more uh, fancy uh, than like casual white sneakers. And I put this, uh, it's actually sleeveless turtleneck because I think uh, soon it's gonna be cold. It's when the, you know, when it gets dark, it will be colder. So I'm just wearing this under for warm and, you know, comfort on my walk. So that's the final look. And again, I'm showing you this in the weirdest way possible. <laughs> You know that I actually collect magnets uh, for my fridge from every trip and every place. Uh, sometimes I forget to bring them, but most of the time I have from every place that I have uh, been to. And uh, here I have from Bene Modena actually, but these are very cool, very fun, and kind of like prettier. Sorry for excuse my nails. I have to. I'm making them tomorrow. I made appointment. Wow, it's <laughs> really fun. one from this place already so while I'm walking maybe I can share with you actually a fun fact so today 6th of December 
it's a Santa Claus day in Poland and actually I read about it and actually uh, Spain and Italy and Germany they also celebrate this day today 6th of December uh, so what is that about uh, so actually in, in Poland when I grew up we didn't have Santa Claus coming uh, during Christmas on the 25th of December we actually have uh, Santa Claus day on the 6th and that comes actually from a long tradition it's a bit windy so i hope you can actually hear my voice and then later when i edit it doesn't turn out that uh, you know there was nothing actually except wind uh, anyway the story with the santa claus so actually the story of santa claus started with a, a priest which was later uh, called saint uh, and he's actually saint nicholas and the guy the priest lived uh, around third and fourth century and he was the only child of the family, of a wealthy family who was praying for a kid for a very, very long time. And when he grew up, he became a priest and he got a lot of, you know, wealth uh, for him. And he became famous for being a very generous and good man who was helping poor people. And one of the stories, I'm, I'm not telling you the true story, like one of the, you know, le legend about it, is that there was a guy who was, uh, who lost his wealth and he was very poor and he couldn't support their daughters to like you know for their marriage because you have to give some money uh, when you like you know um, marry your daughters so he decided to sell them to a public house and they would be working as prostitutes and saint nicholas when he heard about this uh, you know sad future for those girls uh, he brought them uh, money and three days like uh, you know for one second and the third uh, he was uh, bringing money uh, in a sock or in some kind of like little pouch, I guess. People didn't wear socks in the first century. But well, that's what I read actually, at least uh, on the internet. Anyway, he gave them money, so he saved them from be being prostitutes. And that was one of the famous stories, and he was helping other people as well. There is like a lot of stories about this. Uh, so that's the real story of Santa Claus. And in those more Catholic countries, I would say, which actually Poland is, and uh, Spain or Germany, uh, Spain or Italy, uh, there are like you know very catholic background so in those countries we actually celebrated santa claus on the 6th of december and then kids were given given gifts uh, at that day not the 25th now we are also moved with the western culture for the 25th and i guess some kids are getting two gifts two times which is good for them why i didn't grow up in this era here is the castle from the side and well, another story I was reading about it. Uh, so it's not a castle itself, but it's a building that was built for a wealthy family at the beginning of the 20th century. And it's supposed to remind Islamic uh, Arabic architecture, uh, which obviously it is a very unusual building here. So that's the castle behind me. Uh, it, uh, it looks like, a, not really a castle, but it doesn't really look like a, something that would be um, normal building in this area and uh, as I said it was built for a rich family and in the 1980s uh, the country the state bought the property and made it like a public place so the castle now is a public uh, place you, we can walk in I will see if it's still open and a funny fact is also that this place is one of the uh, most common places for couples to get married in Malaga or Malaga area pictures and uh, I see that the castle is closed now so I will have to come here again to show inside uh, hopefully we can manage it in the next uh, few days and now I think we go for a walk and I might come back here when it's completely dark because it's also very beautiful when it's dark uh, and it's like you know a different different view but uh, what is it it's a very beautiful place very unique uh, that red color is not common here in this kind of uh, South, Spari South Spain or Italy, so that's a very interesting place to visit. I came to McDonald's to have coffee, and I know, I know, coffee in McDonald's is not where you should drink your coffee, but I really don't like to be disappointed about my coffee. Uh, so I rather go to a place that I know what to expect instead of go to an unknown place and be very disappointed. Uh, so yeah, me and my, you know, I'm like old granny. Sometimes I just like things the same way, and I don't like changes and surprises. But anyway, I have to give you an update about this crazy apartment that I was uh, checking out yesterday. 
So today around noon time, I got a message from them that they are going to charge me for the damage to the apartment. And I'm like, what? What kind of damage to the apartment? First of all, of course, I didn't do any damage. And second of all, like, how could you damage it? It was already like in barely livable condition um, and nothing was there pretty much. Uh, so I quite, uh, it's not damaged and you know, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's damaged and she sent me a picture of towel on the floor and say I'm extremely dirty person and she was like you will hear from me and I was and like I was oh okay so I again had to go to booking and phone them and tell them what is happening I, I just like call them to just give them hands up and not give them notification what is happening the previous person that was saying there they accused them about making parties and they were also trying to charge them because they were not happy what a crazy person is managing that property like it's insane the person is nuts and it's like i don't like of course i'm not going to pay that but it's like i'm just you know until end of your life people will surprise you and shock you with the with the behavior and it's like like i'm just generally again surprised how crazy people can be even though believe me i have seen a lot in my life so that's the story for now and my story in McDonald's is that I really wanted to eat McDonald's because the fries are smelling so good here but I'm strong, I have been strong and I'm leaving from here now and I'm going to a restaurant on the way which I saw a few days ago and they were closed already so I'm going to go there and try their food because they had very good reviews so now I'm on the way back and it's dark and you see that castle is so beautiful even more beautiful when it's dark and a cute couple taking pictures, that's so cute of them. So it's time to take shower and take off my makeup and I thought I will share with you my best trick, uh, my best way of uh, taking off your makeup while you travel so you don't have to pack too many things, you are not carrying liquid for taking off your makeup and it's very efficient actually. And the trick is Lush Bar Shampoo. Probably you know them, like everybody knows them. They are like, you know, the, the you know, famous product, the bar shampoo, but they do amazing job to wash off your makeup. So you don't need all those micellar waters. I never use them, by the way. I just hate this stuff. It's just way too much time and effort. So I always use this, uh, so or pretty much always use those uh, soaps now, <laughs> not soaps there. Soap shampoo, the bar shampoo from Lush uh, when I travel, especially if it's like a short travel, three, four, five days, I don't take anything with me even to wash off my makeup. And on, you know, plus you can also use this as your shower. I mean, it will wash you and it has good ingredients and it smells good and like, yeah, everything is good, except that it's not, of course, the cheapest thing, but it's not the most expensive things either. And actually, if you don't soak it with water, like if you actually make sure that it's not like wet completely, uh, then the shampoo will last you for a very, very long time. But if you like leave it under the shower and there is all the water in to get soft, you will use it up very, very quickly. Uh, so uh, make sure to always like uh, cover it and don't, you know, make it soft and soak with water. And uh, they also have another product which they showed me recently, like, I mean, a few months ago when I was in Lush. And so it's, it, this one has been used. It's like an iPad. Uh, I mean, this, this is discoloration from the paper that it was originally uh, on this uh, thing. And this, I far I remember, it's supposed to be like to take off your um, uh, eye makeup. And it's like a soap also but it works it also works for the whole face but to be honest i prefer this it's yeah like it's like three in one uh it's bigger like i mean it does the job and it's very affordable this one because it's like three euro i think or two euro two or three euro and i think it's supposed to last a week so it's like a really travel piece um it works but uh, i prefer to do with a bar shampoo so i hope you enjoy this tip from me my secret for uh washing off my makeup quickly efficiently without carrying liquids uh, and all the good stuff uh please let me know if you have ever done that and i will see you tomorrow and now i will take a shower and no you are not invited bye <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the vlogmas. Is it day what? Uh, six. I already had my nail appointment, so they now look presentable. 
uh, and I didn't vlog of course uh, when I woke up because it was at 9 and when you go to bed after 3 <laughs> It's kind of early and kind of hard to make it. Uh, so, uh, well, now, hello, welcome to the day. And now I'm going to get some groceries and uh, then we move on with the day. makeup uh, and I was watching a uh, Jesse style uh, video now and it was uh, addressing the Balenciaga issue and uh, of course that's the issue that everybody is talking about and I didn't feel like I even need to talk about it because um, well um, I don't necessarily feel like I need to talk about all those you know uh, hot topics uh, but yeah she was she had some you know uh, interesting points, uh, I think. Uh, so, well, I'm using some MAC products just in case you are uh, interested. This is like this paint pot and I use it as my base for my eyes. So, uh, anyway, Balenciaga. Um, well, to be honest, for me, if I wouldn't follow YouTube or TikTok or these, you know, people there, I would not know about it at all. Uh, because I don't follow Balenciaga and I personally don't really uh, like their style, like their bags. In my recent vlog, uh, on one of the recent vlogs, shopping vlogs, I was like making fun of their, you know, their newest or the hot eat bag. Like, it's not my vibe. Uh, I have to admit, I was uh, a little tempted to get this um, scarf or sweater with just has Balenciaga print. Uh, but well, it's like, you know, uh, because I just like how it looks, but well, that's why probably we will buy all these uh, designer things uh, because we like how they look. Uh, that's at least, uh, I think in many ways how I buy this. I don't particularly buy this because I support the brand idea or the brand philosophy. I buy for the design uh, pretty much. So I was thinking at least I'm lucky. I don't have to burn and destroy anything because I don't own any Balenciaga. However, I do own the Gucci Balenciaga collab, so I uh, own the Gucci Marmont. And, uh, well, am I going to burn it? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not going to destroy it uh, because, well, actually, in, in you know, it's uh, a Gucci piece. And um, Jesse was saying some, you know, uh, actually very important and interesting things like, you know, many people that actually now they own Balenciaga items, they wear them. They are not aware of that because not everybody is following social media and what is happening exactly in fashion, like including me. I wouldn't be aware if I'm not on YouTube, if I don't watch YouTube videos. And not everybody does that, like not everybody watches this kind of stuff. Uh, so, um, I think we shouldn't really like, you know, cancel everybody who wears Balenciaga. Um, but if we are aware, my take would be that probably I would avoid wearing Balenciaga, at least for a while, uh, and don't like support the brand. From the other side, actually having Balenciaga, like not buying, I would not buy Balenciaga now uh, if I even like it. But like wearing the, this can kind of remind us on, on about the scandal and it can be like the, you know, the opposite statement, like the um, Jesse was actually making some kind of, you know, uh, funny uh, comment. Uh, she was uh, talking about like uh, patching something over Balenciaga or something like don't buy Balenciaga. Yeah, it's a kind of funny idea. Uh, so, uh, I don't really think that we should be destroying things which cost, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars. But uh, I think it's kind of maybe good to refrain from wearing them for a while and uh, see how the situation is develops. And uh, I, I know that when we wear the logo of a brand, we are support, like we are the walking advertising and that uh, you know we are in a way helping the brand but that's not what i think when i wear a logo i when i wear a logo it's because i like how it looks uh so yeah i don't know if i'm different um 
but anyhow uh, so that's my take on like you know wearing or not wearing like i don't think we should be like throwing them away because we have already spent the money i mean not not me so much i actually spent money in gucci only so uh not sure if balenciaga got anything out of it uh, but if you have bought something from Balenciaga and you have your the items, you have spent the money. They have already taken them and enjoyed them possibly or invested or whatever. Uh, so there is no point of view to just uh, disrespecting your money, which are in the shape of Balenciaga item and throwing it away or destroying. So I, I don't think uh, that's what we should do. And that's how we should respect actually our money. Uh, so uh, please don't do that if you are like you know thinking about throwing it away but i wouldn't wear it i think uh or at least i wouldn't wear it because to be honest i was thinking about it like oh if i wear my gucci uh, bag with this balenciaga print all over like i mean if i wear it in iceland i'm quite sure nobody is knowing about it nobody cares about fashion there and nobody follows this kind of stuff i mean there is like a small fashion society in Iceland, but I'm not part of it. I, I don't belong there. I don't like, I don't hang around with those people. I have been uh, on like Reykjavik Fashion Week a few years ago as a volunteer. I mean, is it Fashion Week or some kind of fashion event? Uh, but so I, I got to know some of those people, but like, I just have them on Instagram. I, I don't know them and I don't hang around with them and uh, they probably don't remember me at all. So uh, on my daily life, I'm quite sure that nobody is, you know, aware of that scandal and nobody, probably many people even don't know that Balenciaga is a thing, that Balenciaga is an expensive brand. So they probably don't even, uh, you know, understand if this thing costs, you know, $200 or $2,000. So in that, uh, that respect, if you wear your items and, uh, you know, people who are around you, they have no idea. It doesn't even matter if you wear it or not like like it doesn't matter but i think in for majority of people probably it uh it does matter uh because most uh, you know you're probably living in more uh, fashionable places and people like are more fashion uh, fashion aware so it's probably more relevant and by the way i'm using this uh eyeshadow um it's a brand hen um i don't know it's polish one I got it in Poland, yeah, it's Polish one. I got it in Poland uh, because I was very uh, dragged to the color, very shiny and very like, um, not cop coppery, red, coppery, but uh, red, more red so with gold sparkle. And it actually looks very good uh, with my eye color. And I usually tap it over some, um, usually over MAC paint pencil. And I don't use any eye base uh, because it uh, can be bothered basically. So that's what I think about like, you know, what we should do with our Balenciaga items and um, what I think about the campaign. I mean, like I would be completely unaware of the situation if I'm uh, not on YouTube, on social media, if I don't follow uh, fashion. And, you know, I will tell you like, yeah, I saw a couple of uh, videos uh, from, from people who are moms and I can imagine how disturbed they are. Because, uh, like, uh, I will be honest, like, I don't, have, I mean, you know, probably that I don't have children and I don't even plan to have children. And even on top of that, I actually don't um, like them too much. They actually quite annoy me. Uh, sorry <laughs> to say that. However, seeing a couple of those pictures was really disturbing to me. It is really disturbing to see this kind of, you know, combination. And I am very kind of open-minded. I am, uh, you know, as a person, I don't do crazy things, let's say. Uh, I don't really, um, like I'm a kind of good girl, I would say, uh, but I don't mind. Many things don't, don't bother me and many scandals and, you know, people almost naked and, you know, different things. Like I might not like it, but it, like it doesn't, you know, shock me to the core and i am like kind of like you know looking at scandals usually okay you know just you know for the noise and stuff like that uh, however in this case i totally agree that it's crossed the line way too far because we should not picture children with this kind of sick items i think that this kind of stuff like my opinion is kind of sick for the adults even and as much as I'm open-minded about many things, 
I think this kind of stuff for adults is already sick. Not to put this on children. And uh, I watched one of the videos that I watched was Classic with a Quirk and she had very good insights. So actually, uh, if you haven't seen it, I would uh, I will link it below her video. It, uh, it, she has some like knowledge about the industry and so on. And, you know, the thing is that does this kind of stuff like can actually stay with those children or maybe some children that have seen those pictures that it can create some, you know, some picture in their mind and they might start to um, like be dragged uh, to this kind of weird stuff. And what I tell you, what worries me about this world and about children is that this world, like it's, there is so many wrong things and um, the way kids are growing up now and the exposure they have, you know, they live and learn and establish a lot of their ideas from internet or from some um, television, Netflix or movies and uh, from sources that probably they should not. And when we add to this promotion of such a sick things, like in the Balenciaga campaign, it's really wrong and disturbing and it's worrying. And uh, we really as a society should a little think about uh, step back and think like where are we all going and where are we pushing our future so yeah these are my two cents on the balenciaga uh, topic and uh, uh, society and the future of the society in general so let me know what you think about it and uh, i assume that you are not <laughs> supporting and you're not optimistic about what uh, this the whole balenciaga thing but what are you going to do with your balenciaga uh, items if you have them i think people will forget about it as uh, they tend to forget about other scandals uh, but I think maybe there should be some more law regulations about it. Like there should be some, you know, approval for um, campaigns, pictures that are posted commercially and like, you know, to the public, which includes children. How about that? Like we have, you know, regulation for the water quality or many things. We should have also regulation what can be posted uh, publicly uh, and presented with children. What about that? Let me know what you think. Uh, I need to put my mascara now and think what to wear. So I'm dressed up. This is the outfit. This is a Zara shirt under. And this sweater, Zara jeans, uh, shoes, uh, the Tommy Heifliger, and my Pouchette Matisse because it seems like it's not gonna rain today. And I'm going to the shopping mall or this outlet to check if my Gucci and Miu Miu sunglasses are still there it's a little late but they are open until 10 i think so i think i will make it so let's go so i arrived to the outlet and i have a project to find some uh, ipads not ipads uh, samsung uh, tablet accessories for my boyfriend and it's a big project because nobody is uh, they are not in stock anywhere so been looking for that and uh, now I'm going to the luxury part and I'm going to start with coffee of course. So I'm going to go to Starbucks first because you know I am a very <laughs> cheap chain coffee lover <laughs> so yeah. But look at this how beautiful it's here oh my god I love it and it's actually much nicer the phone is not picking up the light very well it's like yellow gold lights and red decorations so beautiful and a huge Christmas tree and welcome to the vlogmas day 7 and today is probably not really a vlogmas because i'm in the bed my pajamas and actually working because i had to do some work unfortunately uh, which is not like youtube work like my you know day job uh, and the weather is bad so i think it's actually a perfect opportunity for me to do this stuff uh, so probably not vlogmas and yesterday actually i wanted to share with you news but when i went to starbucks and i wanted to talk to you it was so noisy there it was impossible to talk but i have a sudden change of plans and actually on saturday we are flying to rome 
and should I spill the tea a little? Well, I got a message yesterday from my sales assistant from one of the luxury brands that something that I asked for has arrived, which I honestly didn't think it will ever arrive. So I will keep you with that secret actually, uh, because why not? Of course, I have to keep it as a secret. So we are going to Rome and there is a special item waiting for me. So if you watch that vlog, uh, maybe you have any guesses. Uh, what could it be or from which brand is it? So that's a little torture for you. Mm -hmm. 